hello Capricorn all right you guys so you know what time it is we're gonna do a little reading for today we're gonna take a peek and see what happened between you and the person on your mind what happened in the past what happened what's going on in the present moment as well as what will be the future outcome okay please give me clear honest messages for my beautiful Capricorns my earth signs what happened between Capricorn and the person on their mind for January 2022? What happened in the past? Oh, damn it. Okay. Capricorn. Okay, what happened between Capricorn and the person on their mind in the past? Okay, thank you. Alright, so we have Page of Pentacles. What's going on in the present moment between Capricorn and the person on their mind? All right, so we have Queen of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacles here. What will be the future outcome between Capricorn and the person on their mind? Whoa. All right, you guys, we have Nine of Wands. All right, Capricorn, so. What happened between you and the person on your mind in the past? We have the Page of Pentacles. All right, Capricorn. So your person uh, didn't offer very much in the past. They offered very little because Page of Pentacles is offering something, but it's a page, and a page isn't much at all. And also, Capricorn, uh, for some of you, the person on your mind was very childish, all right? Uh, perhaps they weren't. They weren't very skilled with communicating their thoughts. Um, they just had little uh, temper tantrums. Or for some of you Capricorns, this person just didn't want to offer you anything that that could sus that could sustain um, the connection, that could keep it stable, that could keep it solid. Okay. In the present, Capricorn, right now, um, Capricorn, your person isn't expressing that they do want to build something solid, that they do want something forever with you here, okay? Um, but the thing is, they need to put in action. It's I keep hearing thoughts, like they, they keep thinking about doing something um, to strengthen the, this connection, to do things for you but they're not doing it, okay? Now, for some of you, your person is taking action to be a better person, uh, to become more solid. Uh, perhaps your person right now is thinking about um, being all about their money. Um, they're just focused on their finances here. And then for some of you, Capricorn, because this person didn't put in effort, uh, you guys are bossing up right now. Uh, you, Capricorn, you're not putting effort into this connection. You're reinvesting into yourself, okay? Now, the future outcome, Capricorn, between you and your person, we have Nine of Wands. All right, Capricorn, so if you invest in this person and this situation, uh, you guys will have a lot of obstacles to overcome, but it looks like you guys will just have one more hump one more obstacle to uh, get past before reaching final victory, okay? For some of you Capricorns, there are things that you and this person need to work out together as a team to have victory with one another. But I'm still curious, Capricorn. Let's see what else is going on here. How did Capricorn's person treat Capricorn in this connection? Oh, okay. All right, Capricorn, so we have Five of Swords. So, Capricorn, this person really treated this connection with a lot of mind games. There was a lot of mental game playing here because Five of Swords is all about playing games. It's all about betrayal. And it's all about having open, uh, not open, 
empty victories here. So Capricorn, your person, like I said, very, very immature, masculine or feminine here that you dealt with, all right? How did Capricorn treat this connection in the past? What did Capricorn do? How did Capricorn... Thank you. Oh! All right, Capricorn. So we have the lovers here. Capricorn, you were very passionate. You, you guys were very open. You were vulnerable with this person. You, Capricorn, you didn't play any mind games whatsoever. You spoke your truth. You let this person know how you feel about them. And they didn't offer you anything. They just gave you nothing but mind games, uh, manipulation. Um, they played with your emotions. They toyed with it. And they were very immature here. Okay, so let's see what else. How is Capricorn's person treating this connection right now in the present moment? How is Capricorn's person treating this connection in the present moment? January... 2022. Okay, Picard doesn't pop out. I'm just going to pop one out. Oh! Oh, all right. I don't know if you saw that, Capricorn. We have Ten of Swords in the sideway position. So, Capricorn, your person knows that time is running out here. They need to step up to the plate or they are they're completely aware that this connection is done, all right? They know that they're at a point where they can't play with you because they they see you guys rising. They see you ascending. They see you rebuilding your self-worth, and they also see and they know that it's just a matter of time until you completely cut them off from all their BS, Okay. How is Capricorn treating this connection in the current moment? January 2022. Okay, thank you. All right, Capricorn. So, two, two different stories here, Capricorn. Okay, so for very few of you, some of you guys still... Imagine having a new beginning with this person, but for most of you Capricorns, most of you are done with this connection, this person. You guys definitely see um, its purpose, uh, what it was, why it came into your life, why this person came into your life, all right? You guys are definitely evaluating the lessons here, but you guys are done with this. Most of you are done with this connection. You guys are ready to start a new beginning in every aspect of your life, including being open to meeting new people. Because the Fool is all about starting new, starting fresh, a clean slate. The Fool is a person who's... he. This person doesn't know what path they're going to take. They're just... They know that they're ready to take that leap of faith and to try again. Okay? Alright. So what would be the future outcome? How is Cap... Oh, sorry, you guys. I'm just tongue-tied. I'm still waking up. Okay, how is how will Capricorn's person treat Capricorn and this connection in the future? Uh-oh, Capricorn. We have Three of Cups. Be careful, Capricorn, because with the Three of Cups here, this means several things, all right? Three of Cups is all about reunions, celebrations, all right? And this also symbolizes reconciliation. So be careful, Capricorn. This person, they're going to try to come back for more, okay? And then for some of you, Capricorn, be, fair, be very, very careful because Three of Cups also symbolizes a third party. So either they might come back and somebody might interfere with this connection, or for some of you, Capricorn, they might get involved with somebody else while they're dealing with you, okay? And again, that leads back to mind games, and it leads back to basically nothing to offer, okay? Even though the Page of Pentacles symbolizes something to offer, it's not much, all right? This person, they're just going to bring back their childish games. Okay, but what about you, Capricorn? How will Capricorn treat this person in this connection in a future outcome? I want to know, so I'm going to dig. 
Okay, how will Capricorn treat this connection in the future? January 2022. Okay, wonder the... Oh! All right, Capricorn. So we have the Hierophants for the future outcome. All right, Capricorn. So a couple different stories here. Here, okay. Capricorn, for some of you, you guys are going to let this go. And you guys will have a new beginning with somebody who's going to commit to you. All right. Some of you, Capricorn, you guys are going to commit to a different person. Now, for very, very, very few of you, some of you guys might somehow end up marrying this person, all right? Because the Hierophant here, it's all about ascending spiritually. It's all about having faith, all right? Uh, for s some of you Capricorns, um, the Hierophant represents a priest, so it represents marriage and commitment. So very few of you Capricorns, if you guys allow this reconciliation to happen when this person tries coming back, some of you guys might end up marrying this person. Others of you Capricorn, when this person will try to come back and have some kind of reconciliation in the future outcome, it's going to be too late because in the present moment, you guys are ready to start dating again. You guys are ready to be open to meeting someone new. And for some of you Capricorns, this new person you're going to meet, you're going to end up marrying them because your new person is going to be the one, the one. Okay, but let's see what else Capricorn. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. I want to use a different box. Oh, shoot, I just remembered something. I'm supposed to use that for another reading. Okay, sorry, Capricorn. Let's see what secret messages your person has to you, okay? How does Capricorn's person feel about Capricorn? January 2022. Thank you. Whoa, hold on. Two just flew out the deck here. Oh, all right, Capricorn. So again, like I said... The person on your mind is definitely playing mind games because you won't believe what popped up. I pretend that I'm happy without you, but the truth is I'm heartbroken over you. Oh, Capricorn. If you think this person moved on from you, especially if they're dating someone new, if they're posting somebody else on social media, just know it's all a game. It's a mental mind, F-U-C-K, okay? From the very first moment that I looked into your eyes, I knew that we belonged together like yin and yang. Okay, Capricorn, be careful, because again, this person, whoever's on your mind here, they want to come back, they want to have reconciliation, okay? But the thing is, though, Capricorn... If they do, they're going to have to step up from the plate. They're going to have to learn how to grow. They're going to have to learn how to become a better person if they want to be your partner, okay? Because Capricorn, you guys are earth signs. You guys are very strong. You guys keep yourselves grounded. Uh, you keep your lives very steady, okay? Uh, your lives aren't as chaotic as, as much as other signs, okay? Because you keep your feet on the ground, all right, and if this person wants to be your partner, then they need to learn how to boss up, and they need to learn how to be a better person, okay? But what about you, Capricorn? What message do you have to your person? How does Capricorn feel about the person on their mind? Okay, thank you. How does Capricorn feel about the person on their mind? Okay, some of these cards want to slip out, but I want to keep going till something flies out. How does Capricorn feel about the person on their mind? Thank you. Oh, damn. Okay, Capricorn. This is very interesting here. Capricorn, whoever this person is, 
this feeling is mutual here. Your feelings about them, I want to marry you one day. And for some of you Capricorns in the future outcome, you will. Because the Hierophant is the priest here. And we all know the priest symbolizes commitment and marriage, okay? So for some of you Capricorns, there, there will be a reconciliation in the future outcome. And you guys will end up getting married, okay? Now, here's another one. My biggest regret is that I did not fight for this love. So Capricorn, no wonder why some of you guys have the Nine of Wands here, all right? Even though this connection with them has been a constant battle here, for some of you Capricorns, you guys feel that you guys could have fought harder to keep this connection going, okay? And perhaps for some of you Capricorns, you guys kind of <clears throat> fed into the games as well. Perhaps some of you guys played mental mind games with one another here, okay? But the thing is, though, Capricorn, both you and your person, it's a mutual feeling. Your person wants to come back, and you guys want forever with them. All right, Capricorn. Um, oh, and before I forget, for some of you, Capricorn, this reconciliation might happen either for some of you. It could be five weeks from now. 10 weeks from now, some of you, it might be as quick as nine days from now. And for some of you, it might be a couple months from now because cup symbolizes months and there's three cups here. All right. Wand symbolizes days. So you, some of you guys might be hearing back from your person in nine days. All right. For very few of you, Capricorn, um, this reconciliation could happen a year from now. All right, because pentacles, when it comes to time, it represents years, and there's one pentacle here. All right, for some of you, might be five weeks, because sword symbolizes weeks, all right? And some of you, it could be ten weeks from now. Okay, Capricorn, so this is all I have for you for your reading. What happened between you and the person on your mind? What happened in the past? What's going on in the present? What will be the future outcome? How both of you guys treated this connection with one another, as well as messages you have to one another about your feelings. All right, Capricorn, so this is all I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. I hope you guys got something positive and insightful out of it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, take care, my loves. Bye.